First off, thanks to everyone who made the purchase of this haunted end generator for WordPress workflow. Thank you very much. And based on some of the feedback I've received and questions I've received, I just want to make a quick video on how to get your WordPress credentials set up properly. So as we're seeing here in this node, you need to have the credentials set up. And if I open this up, you can see here that we have the username, the password, and the URL of your WordPress instance. And so one thing I need to make very clear is that this username and password is specifically for the WordPress API. This is not, this is not your regular WordPress login. Okay, there's a big difference. This is not your regular WordPress login. So if you go to your, your user profile on WordPress, right? So click on your username and then so here you can see I have my profile that's in an event. And so you want to go all the way down and you'll see here this section that says application passwords. Okay. And this is what you need. So create the application password and boom, this is the password you guys are going to use in this portion here, not your regular WordPress login password. Okay. That is not what you want to use. And so a lot of the confusion was that people were trying to use a regular WordPress login, and that is not the case. You need to make sure you're using the application password. And then also the username is going to be this username. Okay. So there's that's a little bit funky about how WordPress is used doing it because it's not using the application password name, but actually the username, but the password itself is different. So just be aware of that as you guys are trying to figure out how to get the WordPress access to it. All right, hope that makes sense. And thanks again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.